And we are back with the Flipper Zero. In this video, we're going to be demonstrating the Flipper Zero's software-defined radio capabilities. Uh, this is something that you use uh, to record and replay signals or for what are known as relay attacks and can be useful in breaching physical access control systems uh, and disrupting uh, other uh, parts of uh, the critical infrastructure. Uh, so what I have here is a HackRF1 port pack and we're going to be using this for signal jamming. Uh, and thus we're going to go into transmitters uh, and go to jammer. Uh, and here we're going to set uh, the signal frequency that we're going to play, uh, which we're then going to record with our flipper zero. So let's go to... Uh, read raw is what we're going to be using and there's uh, different options here in the menu even a frequency analyzer that just kind of uh, analyzes the frequencies in the environment uh, without any particular specification but we're going to go to read raw and then we're going to go to configure and we'll set our frequency at 315 megahertz, which is a common frequency used uh, for uh, vehicle key, uh, key fobs, for example, or at least in the United States. Uh, those frequencies differ. You can also look up uh, any frequencies uh, for your devices on the FCC's website, actually. Um, so here we're going to go to our Hack RF. I'm going to set our signal jammer. Uh, and here we can specify... Uh, different signals or a frequency uh, range for our signals so I'll just set it between 315 and 316 megahertz All right, and then check with your local laws and ordinances uh, regarding signal jamming um, make sure you're in compliance but the only time that jamming signals is legal uh, generally speaking is uh, either when you have the permission uh, of the person or entity whose signals uh, you're interfering with uh, or for example in response to illegal surveillance right we have a lot of that going on in our society so if you're aware of any Ill illegal surveillance uh, uh, whether it be by a private party or law enforcement illegal surveillance is still illegal all right, secrecy does not uh, shield uh, law enforcement or, or government contractors or whoever uh, from conducting illegal surveillance. So in that type of a scenario, interfering with signals uh, of such nature is completely legal in response to illegal surveillance. So I would actually advocate the use of a hack RF1 uh, by anyone and everyone given the, the kind of uh, um, you know mass surveillance we have going on in our society especially in response to uh, signals intelligence I'm going to go ahead and start recording with my flipper zero All right, and then I'm going to go ahead and hit start on our signal jammer here with the uh, hack RF1 Alright, we're going to have to enable frequency range on our Hack RF1. And then when we hit start, we should see our signal come through on the screen of our Flipper Zero. Oh, and there we go. And that's our signal jammer, okay? That's our Hack RF1 transmitting uh, frequency at 315 megahertz which we're now recording with our signal jammer or our flipper zero here from the signal jammer on the hack rf1 okay we're gonna hit stop all right we can replay the signal so let's do that let's go back 
and go to receiver. Or actually, we'll go here to capture on our hack RF1 ported pack. And then uh, we're scanning the 315 megahertz frequency range with our hack RF and then so let's go and, and hit send there you go see it coming through we're now playing that 315 megahertz frequency that we recorded with our flipper zero when we transmitted a, a signal jamming with our hack RF and now we're playing that signal back and you can see that that's what it looks like on our hack rf1 uh our hack rf1 ported pack has more functionality than the flipper zero in, in terms of um just being really specific in what frequencies we want to uh kind of uh, narrow in on And the Flipper Zero has pre-configured frequencies uh, for the purpose of uh, software-defined radio, all right? Uh, I guess the advantage of the Flipper Zero here is um, it's a multi-tool. It's capable of so much more than software-defined radio. Uh, so you have more uh, kind of options to play around with um, in terms of devices you want to hack that transcend software defined radio uh, but you can't get really specific with the flipper zero as you can with the ha with the hack RF uh, but the point being is is that both these devices I would say if you're a hacker especially if you're into signals intelligence um, sh should be uh, uh, a part of your arsenal you should have a flipper zero and a hack rf and then there's so much more you can do with the hack rf if you're just really into signals intelligence and radio frequencies but uh there you have it folks this is how you uh, record and and replay or relay uh signals with the flipper zero and so we learned about That functionality of this awesome all-in-one Swiss Army knife multi-tool hacking device as well as how to signal jam with the hack RF one and, and that's pretty cool also and you can do this um, you know, for, with all sorts of different devices I'll, I'll put together an entire series on the hack RF uh, if you haven't checked out my videos um, for flippers here or hack rf do so now uh i've got uh a video on uh smart meters or reading smart meters using the hack rf porta pack i'll include that in the link description for this video uh but yeah stay tuned hit that like button comment subscribe and until next time